has outraged Omahaans. The man from Honduras accused of street racing, driving drunk and slamming into an SUV, killing a recent Bellevue University graduate. Tomorrow, Eswin Mejia is scheduled for a preliminary hearing in the death of Sarah Root in January, but he's nowhere to be found. Kelly Bartnick is here now to examine how the case got to this point and what the victim's family wants to happen. Kelly. Jenny, first of all, the family says what they'd really like is to see Mr. Mejia here in the courthouse tomorrow. I spoke with Scott Root, Sarah Root's father tonight on the phone. He says they are not optimistic that that will happen. They're also looking for new information tonight from any witnesses who may have seen the crash or from anyone who knows how Edson Mejia, who is 19, got a hold of the booze that night. But the biggest mystery is where he is. Is Mr. Mejia here? This is the door knock that started the questions that led to another felony arrest warrant for 19-year-old Eswin Mejia, who is still missing nearly a month after the drunk driving crash that police say killed 21-year-old Sarah Root. To say he wasn't a flight risk, obviously they were very wrong. My lawyer informed him of the, the horrific actions that took place here that, that caused this death of Sarah Root. Douglas County Attorney Don Klein said that just this week as word of Mejia's illegal immigration status spread. Add the fact that he'd missed court before. Sarah Root's family says the low $5,000 bail he paid to get out of jail is inexcusable. What part of that, when you're looking at a sheet of paper, does not show you a red flag? I'm not a rocket scientist there, but you know, you got to think a little bit. That's what Sarah Root's father, Scott, told us when news spread that Mejia didn't show up for court-ordered sobriety testing. Now everyone wonders who will show up Friday morning for Mejia's court appearance on DUI and motor vehicle homicide charges. If he does show up, he will likely go to jail. These details outlined by the judge make sure of that. He will also be on the hook for the entire $50,000 bail, which he violated. Root's family just wants some justice. No one can say exactly what that looks like right now. I, I don't know what else I can say to, you know, are they going to bring her back? Somebody's got to be held accountable. You know, apparently he isn't. So somebody's got to be held accountable. That court appearance is still scheduled here at the Douglas County Courthouse tomorrow at 9 a.m. Of course, we will be here. We will bring you the latest on KMTV and on KMTV.com. Reporting live downtown tonight, Kelly Bartnick, Action 3 News.